All right, friends, since this isn't the first day of your PE class, I want to play a little fun game with you talking about some of the adventures that you have gone on before. Because just like we talked about before, the whole point of PE is to help you learn the skills, the confidence, and the knowledge that you need to be able to go on whatever adventures you want to go on for the rest of your life. So, when you get this paper, step one, you're going to put your name at the top. So you're going to have a marker in the paper. You're going to find a spot in the white square. You cannot start the game until the music starts. When the music starts, the game will begin. Here's what you do. You're going to ask one person in this class, have you ever done this? And you're going to point to one of the adventures on the chart. There are lots of different adventures. For example, fly a kite, walk a dog, go on a swing, surf, skateboard, ice skate, badminton, archery, canoeing, jet skiing. If you don't know what one of the symbols means, you can come and ask me. I'll be happy to let you know. When you ask them the question, they're either going to say yes or they might say no. So for example, Drake, have you ever flown a kite? No. So if he says no, I have to go find somebody else. I can't ask him another question. Okay? Now, if you want to go to a different adventure, you can, or you can stick on that same one. So I'm going to stick on the same one. Sari, have you ever flown a kite? So if Sari says yes, then she will sign my card with her initials. So your first and your last initial. So it's going to be two, word, two letters. Your first and your last initial. Once somebody signs your card, you're going to go tag the orange cone. Thank you. You're going to go tag the orange cone and you're going to jog one lap. Then you're going to come back and do the same thing. Your goal is you're trying to get as many of these filled up as you can. At the end of class, wild challenge today, we only have 10 minutes left. You're going to try to get four in a row. If you get four in a row on any of the lines, diagonal, up and down, across, you can hit the wow on the way out. That is an adventure bingo. Your goal is to fill up as many of these as you can. If you can fill up six in a row, and you can hit the wow on the way out. That's our bonus challenge of the day. Okay? Let me review a few important things. How many questions can you ask somebody? One. One question. If they say no, you got to find somebody else. If they say yes, they will sign your card. If they sign your card, what do you have to do? Everybody say, jog one left. Then you come back to the white square. You're trying to get as many as you can in the time limit. Make sense? Every Last thing, each person can only sign your card one time. So now, since I already have uh, one person that signed my card, I cannot go and ask that same person. I need to go ask somebody else. Okay, we've got plenty of people to fill up all the boxes, so you don't need to worry about that. If you have a question about the game, please raise your hand. I'll be happy to answer it. Okay, when I say go, please come get one card, get one marker, find a spot in the middle white square, put your name on the card, get ready for the music, but do not start. Until the music starts. Ladies first. Oh, hey. Okay, friends, please put your eyes on me. Put your eyes on me. If you got an adventure bingo, everybody say adventure bingo! Adventure bingo! Congratulations. If you did get an adventure bingo, make sure you hit the wow on the way out. That's our bonus challenge of the day. Can anybody raise their hand and tell me, what was a strategic way for you to think about playing that game? For you, those of you that got bingo, what were you thinking about when the game started? What do you think, Avery? Yeah, you start looking at that card, and if you really want to get that wow, you're thinking, which six things in a row do I think people in my class have done before? And then you start asking people. And you might have realized when you were playing that game that some people in the room might have done some things that you didn't think they had done. Can anybody raise their hand and tell me, is there a question you asked somebody that you were surprised you found out something new about somebody that you did not know? Aubrey? Um, I asked if she did archery. Right. So you never knew Jill had done archery before, right? My the only way to find out something new about somebody is by doing what? Okay. Asking them. Okay, this is the beginning of the school year. This is a great time for you to be talking to new people that you don't know, to be making some new friends. It takes a little bit of courage. You've got to be brave. And the more things that you ask people, the more people you talk to, the more connections you're going to make and the more new friends you will have. Hope you had fun playing that game. This is what I need from you, friends. When I say go, I need you to put the top on your marker, make sure it snaps down really good, drop it in the basket. You get to keep your bingo card as a souvenir, or you can recycle it on the way out. Marker's in the bucket. 
Please line up on that middle black line. Go.